Welcome to Rise Up Namavia. So in this video, we are going to be looking at part 2 of logarithms involving solving logarithmic equations by conversion by Methyanata aka the resistor of bad and the lover of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. Okay, so what do we do when we're told to find the value of this without a calculator? Now, in the previous video, we learned how to convert from logarithmic form to exponential and from exponential to logarithmic. Now, we'll be using that concept to solve the problems that we'll be getting in this video, okay? So, what do we do when we have this and we are told to find the value? First of all, rewrite it as equal to x and then you change it to exponential form okay now if you don't know how to change to exponential form i'll be putting the link down below in the description now after you change it into exponential form make the basis the same so basically here you follow the concept of exponential equations okay so let's start with the four so we say four divided by two is two two divided by two is one which means if we are to write four as a product of its prime factors, it will be 2 times 2, which is 4. If you don't know how to write a number as a product of its prime factors, I'll be putting another link down below in the description that you can follow, okay? So, which means 2 times 2, written in exponential form, will look like this. Why? Because the number being multiplied by itself here is 2. So, our base is also 2. Now, how many times is it being multiplied by itself? 1, 2. So, our exponent will also be 2. So, we replace this 4 with 2 squared. Okay? Then then the 2 raised to the power x come down the same way it is. And then from here, as we know, there's a rule that says if the bases are the same, our exponents are equal. So x equals to 2. And just like that, you have found your answer for the first question. Now, how about when you're given something like this? What do you do? Same concept. You write it as equals to x. Okay? So we have log base 3 of 1 equals to x. So let's change it into exponential form. Now once you have changed it into exponential form, you want to make the bases the same. Now, in our laws of indices, if you have watched the previous videos where we had parts of indices, we spoke about a law that had 0 as an exponent to say any number raised to the power 0 is 1 so each time you have a 1 and you need to make the bases the same you just check what base is on the other side it's a 3 and you raise that base to 0 why to 0? because anything or any number raised to the power 0 is just 1 even if you raised 20 raised to the power 0, it will give you 1, even if it's 500, raised to the power 0 will still be 1, okay? So with that said, now if you notice that our bases are the same, it means our exponents are equal, so x is equal to 0, and that's your final answer. So now how about if you have something like this? It's actually the same concept, log base 4 of 16, just make it equals to x, then you change it into exponential form and then after that make the bases the same always start with a larger one so 16 divided by 2 equals to 8 8 divided by 2 will give you 4 4 divided by 2 will give you 2 and 2 divided by 2 will give you 1 okay now that means 2 multiplied by itself 4 times is 16 so in exponential form how would it look like it would look like this so we replace this 2 raised to the power 4 with 16. And then we also change the 4. Now, notice that we changed the 4 here and we got an answer of 2 raised to the power 2. So we can just replace this 4 with 2 raised to the power 2. Now, remember, this 2 to the power or 2 raised to the power 2 only replace the 4 and not the x. So to accommodate the x, we introduce brackets and then we put the x outside of the brackets. Okay? So what do we do from here? 
we use the power law to get rid of the brackets. So the power law states that we, we need to multiply the exponent of the 2, like this base 2's exponent, and the x outside of the bracket. So what is 2 multiplied by x? To give you 2x. And then this one comes down the same way it is. Now if our bases are the same, it means our exponents are equal. So 2x is equal to 4. And then from here it's a linear equation that we can solve. So we divide both sides by 2. And then on the left it will cancel out. We are left with the x. And then on the right 4 divided by 2 is 2. And that's our final answer. Okay? Now, how about when you have something like this? Now, most students get confused once they see the square root, okay? But what we do is, we just use the same concept. We write it as equals to x. And then if you write it as equal to x, you change it into exponential form, which will look like this. Now, if you change it into exponential form, Notice that on your right hand side, from indices, this is in what? Root notation. Okay? So, change it to be in index notation. So, if you change this to be in index notation, it will look like this. Okay? Now, from here, make the bases the same. So, how do we make the bases the same? We take this 25 and we divide it by 5. Five, we'll get 5, and then 5 divided by 5, we'll get 1. Okay? Now, again, if you don't know how to do this, or to write a number as a product of its prime factors, check out the link in the description. So, 5 multiplied by 5 in exponential form will be 5 raised to the power 2. So, we replace the 25 with 5 raised to the power 2. And then, to accommodate is its exponent, we put it in brackets, and then we put the exponent outside of the brackets. And then the 5x comes down the same way it is on the left hand side. So from here we need to get rid of the brackets, so we use the power law, whereby we'll multiply this 2, multiplied with 1 over 2, okay? Now to make things easy, we can just make the 2 a fraction as well, by putting it over 1. 2 over 1, and then we multiply the 1 over 2. Because, like, it's a fraction. Now, what answer will we get? The 5x comes down the same way it is. And then, if you notice, our bases are the same. They are both 5, which means our exponents are equal. So, x is 2 over 1 multiplied by 1 over 2, which is 1. So, that's your final answer. Okay? Now, how about when you're given something like this, and you're told to solve for x? So, you are given log base x of 100 equals to 2. It's the same concept. Change it into exponential form. Okay? Now, if you change it to exponential form, look at this 100. Write it as, like, use its prime factors, and then you write it in its... Uh, exponential form so 100 divided by 2 will give you 50 50 divided by 2 will give you 25 25 divided by 5 will give you 5 and then 5 divided by 5 will give you 1 so meaning 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5 is 100 so in exponential form it would look like this why is it 2 here as a base because the number being multiplied by itself here is 2 and why is the exponent 2 because it's multiplied 1, 2 times, okay? The same with a 5. Why is it multiplied by a 5 here? Because the two numbers here being multiplied by itself is 5. Why is it the exponent 2? Because it's being multiplied twice by itself. Now, if you notice here, our exponents are both 2. So, what can we do? We multiply the bases. 2 multiplied by 5 will give us 10. So, the exponent stays the same. So, now that we have 10 squared, we replace our 100 with that 10 squared. Okay? Why? Because 10 squared is the same as you're saying 100. And if you doubt, type into your calculator 
10x you will get 100 okay so now with that said you bring your x squared down the same way it is and if you notice our exponents are the same they are both 2 which means our bases are the same so x equals to 10 and that's your final answer now if you doubt the answer you can always test to see if the answer is correct you go back to your exponential form here it says x squared is equal to 100 or it's supposed to be 100 so now if we assume our x is 10 so now you type your 10 here which means 10 raised to the power 2 equals to 100 so if you are not getting a hundred when you put the when you substitute the 10 here then your answer here is wrong okay so thank you very much for watching this video please do like subscribe turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload share with friends family and classmates and remember together we rise to our heights apart we all stay behind. Cheers.